from Gilbert Farm. And today, well, I'm going to teach you guys how to milk a chicken. The only reason why we have to milk a chicken is when, as you see, my sister just drank all the milk. Two, we have no goats or cows. And three, the nearest store is closed. So let's go teach you how to milk a chicken. <laughs> milk a chicken, yeah. Okay, so the first step is to choose your chicken. So as you saw, um, I chose truffle, so let's try to get her. Okay, so yeah, now let's get our jar and smoke her. Okay, so the second step is to get your jar, put it under your chicken, and then the third step, is to give her a nice hug. Squeeze the hug. Well, at least we got some chicken milk. Okay, so now we have our next bird, Temmy, and let's get some Temmy milk. Okay guys, so that's as much milk as we're gonna get today because of course they're tiny animals. They're not gonna get as much milk. But yeah, that's how you milk a chicken. <laughs> Told you you can milk chicken. Tastes like cow milk. All right, so tell me about this idea that you have. Well, I had an idea for April Fools to milk a chicken. How are you gonna milk a chicken? You know you can't milk a chicken, right? Yes, I clearly know you can't milk a chicken. I am going to get a glass of milk, pour some milk in it, get a piece of tape and write chicken milk, stick it to the glass, and I'm gonna go outside with the milk and the chicken, set the milk aside, hold any chicken, that probably Tammy because she doesn't move as much or truffle, all of a sudden, I'm going to put the milk in, and Jeremy is going to edit it out of the part where me grabbing it, and then I'm going to be like, chicken milk. You know it's probably not going, if you squeeze a chicken, it's probably not going to be milk coming out, right? Probably going to be an egg. Or poop. 